Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this spacey, beautiful hut design. Life Identify My name is Kenja. Let's fly away into space. First of all, I should start with with short intro in order to sort out all steps of the process. So first step is to set the scene uh, to make layout, to, to set the background, master slide and to, to create a master slide animation. The second step would be to design and place all elements at the slide. Then we are going to go into animation of all elements. Then we are going to add sound special effects. And at the end we are going to add final touch. Let us start immediately. As always, new slide, right click here, new slide, delete these placeholders. And then if you, uh, I believe you can see, I set these, uh, these rulers, these lines as my layout. So if you would like more or you didn't uh, watch my, my video, you can go into this link and watch video how to set this layout or any other layout you'd like to have by using these these roller lines vertical guides and horizontal guides just go and watch that video so that was the first step somehow i i divided this into one two three four five six uh, parts and that would be my layout then i went into master slide mode and took if you can see and took first slide which is title slide and then made background animations i'm going to open animation animation pane if you can see i made background animation of the earth and of the background now i'm going to do this uh, what I did in order to get photo of this earth and photo of this background I went to web then to well known pixabay Pix sorry <laughs> pixabay. pixabay and then found my my background and then went to pixels and found the earth I will not do that because I already downloaded to my folder everything what I need I have it here space hut so I have the earth and I have pixels I'm just going to place them here cool I will resize my earth and then I will resize my background everything what I'm doing is done it once again in master slide mode so do not close it did it in master slide mode because if you you can do it in, in regular editing mode but then everything you set here might be moved and some somehow reordered in a wrong in a wrong uh, position so I will enlarge this bigger than slide to be bigger than slide you will see why and I will position my earth somewhere here but if I go now and I look at my newly designed slide it will look something like this somehow this earth 
is more shiny than this space so I should do something in order to align the styles and the color scheme of these two elements so again I'm going into view slide master in order to to edit everything and what I'm going to do I'm going to give here an overlay or mask which will be black with transparency so no outline black black with transparency right click on that mask format shape fill is black okay and then I will add transparency I have some transparency okay slide master close slide master let us see what we have now everything is darker and somehow this earth is more aligned with this background but still it's too these edges are too clean what I'm going to do I'm going to select the object but again you, you see you cannot select anything in editing mode you should go to view slide master and then select this object of earth and then right click here format picture going into effects and then I'm going to give to this object a bit of glow I'm going to say here is a bit of glow just to zoom it to see what I'm going because you know you know what if you watch some space movies or if you watch some scientific uh, shows about earth you can always see that blue aura around earth which is in fact air oxygen and then we are going to paint it into blue and then we are going to give it a bit of transparency let's resize it a bit not so much a bit of transparency because yeah let's see what we have close master view go to our slide now we have that blue aura around the earth then we should make all of these object objects move somehow naturally in as far as possible because I, I haven't been into space but uh, all I can do is just replicate something what I've seen in movies or some scientific shows so again view slide master then let's select our photo our background and then let's give to photo some animation which will be motion animation we are going to say let's choose this one and let's go like this you're going to move from this place to here and it's going to be with previous and it's going to last as much as possible powerpoint will allow you to give it duration maximum value is 55 closing slide master and then let's see what we have one mistake I did view slide master let's go to animation animation pane let's select our animation effects option and let's just set smooth start and smooth end at zero is it start yeah with previous let's see now this one in order to see what we did we should close slide master and then yeah now background is moving it gives us some effect like we are flying we are into space then let's make this more realistic and let's make this earth somehow coming towards us again select earth animation add animation crochet and then let's make earth shrink 
out or grow. Let's make it 130%. Timing should be 59. 59 seconds. Not too, but 59. Repeat. No. And let's start with previous. Let's see if we have here some smooth that no we don't have let's see what we have now again my mistake slide master close slide master go to this slide which we are designing and then we are having earth that is moving towards us and then we are having background somehow flowing behind the earth naturally okay let's just do one more thing here which is let's make this earth looking somehow more spacey or more more scientifically I don't know how to how to explain let's give it some this this effect yeah slide master close master view that's it okay now we set everything in our master slide let's go and make the last part of this section which would be which would be design of of our hard place where all information about earth will be placed let us take this shape place it here make it right this and right this let's, let's just resize this round corner and this and this one yeah that would be it now formatting no line let's take this color and then let's go to format shape and give it a bit of transparency now what do we have here yes now we have something which is very similar to one we did it here yes that's it that's it our earth is a bit maybe smaller but we can resize it anytime place it anywhere I believe we again close master view select our slide and let us see what we have now we have motion behind this hard place here we have motion behind the earth we have earth coming towards us maybe we should in slide master just speed up earth we can speed up by telling to that object grow duration of this animation is not 59 percent it should be maybe 35 35 seconds sorry closing master view let's go what let's go to see what we have yeah maybe this time is better okay guys this part is done we have set our layout again if you don't know how to do this go to my video in a uh, in, on a link um, how to set these guidelines then we set to our background you are going to be background and you are going to be animated like this we have our earth animated with a bit of blue aura around it and we have our hot hot place let's move to next section next section is design of all slide elements and placing all those elements at right place uh, I'm going to close all panes and then what is our first it is earth 2021 let's go into insert 
insert text box and let's type earth 2021 move it here give it a white color and then change fonts into this font resize it a bit this would be our earth 2021 title then let's go and make content of HUD first one let me just remind this life identified I will take this one and say life identity life identified resize it a bit and here I'm going to give a bit of yeah I'm going to loosening spacing between letters characters and here also I'm going to or maybe I'm going just to just resize it a bit to down It should be placed here at the center of our HUD. HUD space and then just resize it a bit. Let me see. Now it's cool. Then our second thing is to make all of these placeholders for or, or texts. I, I will not type every of these. Again, I will just take them and copy them and place them here with one difference that I'm going to delete everything which needs detailed explanation okay now I have my my text I'm going to delete this one because you will need detailed explanation about where to find icons and how to edit them. I have my text. What what is needed here to take care of? It very very important thing is to take care of spacing between le letters and between these letter sections because spacing between this section and this section has to be same as this space and this space and this space. You have also you should also take care about this space spacing between this border and the end of text this border and the, the the start of the next element so when it comes to font typography and text spacing between characters and between sections is very very important because it gives somehow order to the eye and to the brain and um, it gives to us some some kind of uh, uh, importance to, to to important things so what should be seen first it should be life identified then 8.2 million of species etc etc so this is about the text then let's go and try to find first thing which is this DNA which is moving. I'll play again just for you to see that when it says life, life identified. identified you see that this DNA is moving. The easiest way to find for free and royalty free which is very important things that are moving into inf infinite loop is to go and try to find GIFs. The best place of course is Giphy they are providing million, million of GIFs with different content. Here is Giphy. And here you just have to play DNA. Let us see what we have right now. DNA, DNA, DNA. Yes, we have this one. Let us, okay, we can take this one. Just right click on this. This is in fact motion photo picture and we are going to 
copy this image and just to place it here into our slide but again you see how is this gif this gif has background background color since in powerpoint we can edit photos or pictures by certain with certain limitations if you don't know how go to this video and check out how to edit photos and videos uh, photos and pictures but since this is considered by powerpoint by photo we could use almost every function in this format area we could go to color format color we could click to this function set transparent color and click to white and somehow powerpoint says okay white should be transparent color I'm aware that this is not perfect because we have these white dots remained here but when we resize it to be smaller and play it it is not visible at all if you go and see we have stars behind so nothing nothing special I don't know if you notice but we have our animation left when I was copy paste this I will uh, I will delete it and show you uh, again how to how to make it in, in the next section but let us back let us go back to this gif if you noticed here our DNA is green then just select this one go to format to colors and then make it green it is now green just not to to, uh, to pay attention at animation I will just delete all animations here and then let us see what we have we have very beautifully animated DNA which is going around and now we could say okay we done this part the next part is to find let me just kill animation pane go to home we need these icons again the best way to find icons which are total royalty free is to go to pixabay and then to type bacteria but with one detail not images we should select illustrations you will see why we should find some fo photo or illustration of bacteria which is good enough for us I don't know this one yeah this one looks like cartoon but you will see what I'm going to do you see when it's illustration it's with transparent background then you can go copy image so right click at photo copy image go back to our slide and when I'm doing uh, such a job li um, I like to have one blank slide not this one but let's say one blank slide here it is in a black color uh, in order to use it as my editing table let's call it like that so I have my bacteria pasted here then I will go to right click format picture and then I will just edit brightness to be 100% I'm having my white bacteria if I go back to my slide I will resize it more and then place it here you see I have exact just zoom it I have my bacteria here then once again I will explain just once again and uh, not explaining more about pixabay and about uh, vector graphics I'm going to try to find a plant because we are going about earth species so plant illustrations let's try to find something which which is good for our job this one is not let's start try next page
let's see do not use this one uh let's see here it is somewhere 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 we can use this leaf it's interesting maybe this one let's take this leaf i know it's not the same as i have in previous slide but let's try with it so i'm going to my editing table editing slide pasting here right click format picture format picture clicking to picture and my brightness is 100 resizing it copy paste here then what I need I need illustration of animal maybe cat it might be dog it might be elephant whatever you wish and then I need a man I will just use what they have here I believe you figured out what you should do so I'll delete these just place this okay next thing I need this molecules of H2O or water and oxygen same thing going to pixabay typing H2O molecule or well, let's say water Here it is, water molecule. Press on it, and then you the same same process as as I already explained, and uh, the same for oxygen molecule. And this one is pretty interesting because I don't know if you can see, but if I take this object, just this, and place it right here. This object is sun, in fact, which is moving, and it has these these borders and background. I take it also from Giphy, like sun. I found it somewhere. I don't know where. You can find it at Giphy, and uh, it's not here. Some it doesn't. Here it is, I believe. And then I did the same procedure what I did with DNA, but again it's more complicated than complicated animation than this one. Then I, I just cleaned that, um, tried to, to get transparency, but couldn't get it 100%. So I'm using a certain trick in order this background not to be seen. When you select this object and send it to back, somehow this effect is losing its power especially when you go and zoom into full slide then you will see that this is not so this is not visible almost at all now we have everything moving here i will just take my molecules and my just molecules not lines and my human human icon and just paste it here okay now if you remember at the beginning of this slide we have this cross or cursor you see that cursor is going, is going into these corners. Uh, to make this one, I have it already here while I'm copying and pasting. I will delete it. To have this uh, cross, you can use uh, PowerPoint shapes here. Where it is our cross, it's a plus or cross. Here it is. Just type it there and then you can resize it. 
its dimensions and then you can play with this so what is important important is to, to have placed this cross at the center of this object how are you going to do you're going to select this object and then you're going to select this cross and to say align into center and align into middle now this cross is at the center of this object and you, you should do that with four crosses why because from this animation if you go you see just one cross here just one cross here but in fact these are four crosses one behind another because next thing is animation of those four crosses that are going into corners look no, six six crosses six crosses because we have one two three four five six I will not do this job I will just copy and place them to my new slide sorry copy and place them to my new slide not this not this just and I will delete all animations in order to show you at next section how to animate everything how to get everything look looking excellent still if we remain with this job ah we're not good with, with this earth we should just resize it a bit let's see yeah earth 2021 good even if we tell to all of these smaller objects to go to back from from hot space it look pretty cool pretty cool but not excellent because now we are going into part where we have to animate everything